Biomechanics of the Long and Triple Jump, Part 3, Incoming Velocity, a series of Biomech Talk. So the run-up is going to define your incoming center of mass velocity into the takeoff of the long and triple jump, and many of our jumpers are also really amazing sprinters, like Jasmine Todd, who is an NCAA All-American at Oregon, and a member of the 4x1 silver medal team at Worlds in Beijing. The jumpers are coming into takeoff with really high center of mass horizontal velocities and small center of mass vertical velocities from the penultimate step. For our triple jumpers, like Katura Orji, who's a two-time Olympian and nine-time US champion in the triple jump, they also have additional considerations. They need to think about how they're going to control their first phase or hop to travel far on their step and jump phases. In the triple jump, if you go too high on your hop phase, you have to deal with all of the center of mass vertical velocity you have coming down. So therefore you have to generate greater impulse on the next contact in order to counteract that incoming center of mass vertical velocity. But when you get it right, you get incredible things like Katura's American record in 2021. But the key about incoming velocity is in order to make the most of it, you have to be able to handle the high forces that we talked about in our last video without collapsing. It doesn't matter what you come in with if you lose it all by the time you get to final contact. Stay tuned for more about the biomechanics of the long and triple jump. Part 3, Incoming Velocity, Biomechanics of the Long and Triple Jump, a series of Biomectome.